What's up everyone? Today we're going to check out the Boss Digital Manic Compressor and the Imperial Delay that we have on deal right now. Let's check them out. All right guys, so for the demonstration, I'm going to use the track I created in our live stream on Friday. So what I did there was use a lot of the pulse setter sounds that we have on deal. Now I'm going to use this bass line here and show you what it sounds like before and after I add both the Imperial Delay and the Manic Compressor, then we'll go through some of the presets and uh, features. So that's what it sounds like before. Now I'll add the Imperial Delay and you'll hear how it adds a lot of movement to that. Now I'll add the Manic Compressor, and immediately you'll hear how much grit and power it adds to that, and takes it to a new level. So both of these plugins are really cool. The Imperial Delay, that was just a preset I used, um, a very basic preset. I actually did that during the stream. I um, wanted to show a little bit how it works. So this is the Imperial Delay. Then we have the Manic Compressor. Now I really like the Manic Compressor. It has six different compression modes, clean, sheer, gritty, digital, vintage, and smooth. So right now I have that gritty compression mode and you can hear it add some drive to it. The input drive is right here. So you can add a bit of saturation to it um, as well as the compression and really bring that sound up front, make it nice, loud, and punchy. And you can hear how much of a difference it makes when I add it to this bass. So let's check out the Imperial Delay. I will go back, turn off the compressor, and we'll go through some of the presets for the Imperial Delay on that bass. Now I'm going to turn it up a bit because it's pretty quiet without the compressor on. So you can hear we have a lot of really creative, sometimes bizarre ways to process that. Those last three were from the extreme category, so you could really hear how they added some, you know, kind of tonal elements and warped and shifted the sound a bit. Um, it's a very creative plugin, so while you can get just kind of standard delays, tap delays, tape delays, you can also get these really kind of creative sounds that will color the sound of your instrument and use it as a creative effect uh, more so than just kind of a standard delay and I really like that. So I'll go back to whatever I had it on initially, turn this down again, and then we'll go and check out some of the presets for the Manic Compressor, which again, while it can act as a standard compressor, um, it really shines when you use it as a creative effect because it can add so much um, you know, color and character to a sound that I wouldn't normally associate with a standard delay or a compressor. So let's check out some of the presets here, starting with bass one. This is it dry with just the delay. Now I'll turn on the compressor and we'll hear the different presets.
let's take this and put it to the Brahm type sound I have up here. So this one, I'm going to turn off the kind of compression um, inside the contact instrument. And this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to turn on the Manic Compressor and it's really going to make that much more aggressive and in your face. Obviously that adds quite a bit of drive there. Um, that was the bass driver preset. So we can experiment with the different types of compression from gritty um, to clean, sheer, digital, all of the different ones that you see right here. So immediately that adds so much to that sound. It's already a fairly aggressive sound, but the punch and it really brings it right up front, right in your face. all from a compressor, which is again pretty impressive. So we go from, you know, kind of typical, a bit flat mix with things sounding like this. Now let's hear what those sound like with the effects, which really was a very quick fix with using the presets. Um, I did change one of the presets to the gritty and pumped up the drive for the Brahm there. But let's see what we get with some very quick tweaks with these plugins. Now the bass is a bit too bassy and I would go in and adjust uh, the settings on there, but again, just a preset, very quick, how much it adds to that. Um, really cool stuff. This is the Boss Digital, really quality plugins, and I like to use them creatively in a way that I wouldn't normally use just a standard delay and compressor and get some really experimental, sometimes badass results just like this. So thanks so much for checking this one out with me. Just a very quick look on what you can do very quickly to bring out some more character and life to your sound. So thanks for watching. This has been Brian with Audio Plugin Deals. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you want to support us and I will see you next time. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.